Hey guys, Kikir here, and today I'm going to be talking about a VoIP application called Skype and how you can actually record the calls in Skype. Well, uh, if you don't know what Skype is, like I said, it's a voice over IP VoIP client, similar to Ventrilo, stuff like that. But Skype, it's really cool, it allows you to call house phones as well. You can get vouchers for that, and then, you know, there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. But, um, it lets you allow, and it, it only records sound when picked up, so that's really cool. And uh, it's really, 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 really awesome program. Uh, sorry about that, if you guys can hear my TV in the background. But anyways, it's a really, really cool program. And uh, yeah, if you haven't seen it, here's the interface. And I'm in a call right now, but it's on hold. Uh, so you have your contacts list. You have your, uh, you know, contacts. You have a whole bunch of options. And Skype's really cool. You can call. You can see events. You can chat within it. So it's kind of like I am too. A lot of you can send files. It's really, really fully featured, guys. Uh, like I said, it's called Skype. Um, now you can download it, and if you guys are already a user of it, now uh, and today I'm gonna be talking about how to record calls. Now, why, why would you want to record calls? Well, you can use it for a video if you're doing a debate. Maybe it's an important meeting, and you want to, you know, reference on it. Uh, you want to look back on a call. Uh, you know, maybe it's a, a podcast or whatever, or maybe you're, you know. Uh, like I said, maybe you're recording a video for YouTube, and you want, you know, you want to, whatever, like a debate, like, and your friends are in it, and you want to record it, and then maybe you can drag that MP3 or wave whatever file you recorded in, and, you know, put it out, and, uh, so, there's a lot of uses for it, so, uh, like I said, Skype, and uh, how to record, anyways, so, there's a lot of uses, and a lot of different ways you can do it, uh, you can use a sound recorder, and find a way to get if you have different sound, car, uh, you know, there's a whole technical way to do it if you want to, like, actually split all the tracks. But you can do virtual tracks. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to get into that today, but there's ways you can, like, actually virtually uh, get the tracks and, uh, take the tracks and actually, uh, what do you call that? Like, they record different audio tracks, as in, like, different uh, system sounds. Like, uh, you can record through uh, what they call in the, if you go to your aud audio properties in XP or Vista. And then I'm pretty sure there's a Mac applic Mac application for it as well. A mixer, and then you just select uh, as you're out recording device. You select. Uh, hang on a second here. As soon as the mixer decides to open, but it's not. Um, I just go to recording devices. If you go to your recording devices and select, uh, where is it here? Sound? Is it? No, it's not sound. It's playback. Oh, what is he? Should be under recording, but it's not showing up here. Okay, well, it should be something like uh, it should be a uh, what they call your it's com what's coming out of your actual system, and that is your uh, in in XP it's the same thing to access that you just have to go and, you know uh, adjust audio properties, but what you want to set your uh actual mic to record out of is what they call uh. Hang on here. I totally slipped my mind here for a second, but uh, but you have to go to properties and, like I said, go to recording. You have to go to stereo mix, is what it's called. There you go. Sorry, I totally slipped my mind. It's called stereo mix. Set that, and you can record different tracks using the stereo mix. You're gonna want to adjust your audio so it doesn't, you know, blur make it that loud. You want to, I mean, you adjust your volume, make it about medium, so it's not too loud when when it's recording, and you don't get a lot of pops and hisses. But there's another application called the free Skype call recorder. It's uh, called Call Graph. I use this right here. I have it running right now. Basically, whenever you make a call, it automatically starts recording. And, you know, there's easy to use, manage, record, and it has a call graph. Like it, like the program says, it graphs all the calls you've made. You can delete them, etc., etc. You can download it from CNET, or you can download the new beta. There's another client called Pam Pamela, which actually, I think, for the first time, lets you record for 15 minutes, and then you have to get a license, but, you know, just as well, they all have their own features, Pretty Maze, another one that you actually have to buy for 200 bucks, but it is a really, really good one, and there's a free download you can try for 10 minutes, it's really, really, really good quality, uh, and, you know, they can do it in conference calls, you can do it in single calls, and it's really, really great, it has a lot of features. Uh, so there's a couple ways you can do it using a audio editor like or audio or sound editor like Audacity. You can use applications like Call Graph. Or you can buy applications like Pamela or Pretty Main. There's a whole bunch of other applications you can try out there. And I don't know if you guys just heard that Skype sound, but I just got took out on the conference call right there. 
But anyway, that would be an example of, you know, how to set up a call if you just call somebody, have your program running in the background. And call graph records into uh, WAV or MP3. And then you can always just drag it into a video or drag it into a timeline for a, in a video editor or whatever it may be. And you're set. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial or quick tutorial on how to record a Skype call. Basically, with any per your choice of programs, your choice of ways. There's a whole bunch of other technical ways. Like some people do stuff like get their own, you know, different sound cards. And, you know, split the audio. They use uh, audio mixers, stuff like that. It's really, really crazy. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the videos on the channel, other videos on the channel. Anyways, and check out the website at www.adrianstech.com. And yeah, comment, rate, subscribe.